A while ago, I published a video showing you how I simplified my creator system on Obsidian, the one I used to take notes of ideas and produce the videos, blog posts, and publish everything. Uh, that video got uh, an over the average number of dislikes. I guess you guys prefer, uh, some of you at least prefer a more elaborated system, more automations and templates and things like that. I'm more on the simple things side of that. <laughs> and I really enjoy that system. I'm still using it. But it came with some problems that I've been addressing. I've been tweaking the system. And today I want to show you what I did to make it even better, at least for me. <laughs> I hope this video gets less dislikes than the other one. Oh boy, if you knew what it is to be on this side of the camera. <laughs> oh, there's also my voice. I have some sort of code or something like that. Anyway, let's do it. Last time we talked, uh, we ended up with something like this. Uh, creator, inside creator, blog, collaboration, everything that is related to uh, my creator job. And inside of each one of this, we have the ears. So the idea here was to click, right click here, create a new note. This new note was a new idea. It will be here on the main folder. And when that new idea uh, became uh, a post or something, it would be moved to the ear, the corresponding ear. Okay? This is what, how we ended up. However, this list here, the idea of this list, first of all, was to make the lists shorter. Because imagine if I had here a giant list with all the ears, this list would be too long. So that's why I uh, split them into ears. But even this started becoming too long. So what I did was right click here, new folder, archive, and I moved everything not related to that year to archive. And I did that to all the this subfolders here. So now I only have two uh, subfolders. And when I create a new idea here, it's easy to see. Let's create new two here. And it's just one step below uh, this subfolder, which is below this other subfolder. And here you can see the problem. In the end, it became too much to be going down this tree to find what I wanted. And here's where I thought about uh, shortcuts. But I thought about that because my first attempt was to move all this outside and have them all outside. But my list, my real list is, this is my, this is the account I use to record the videos. My real list is longer than this one here. So even that didn't work. The next step was to add uh, emojis. So I did something like this. So now imagine all of this outside the creator folder and all of them with emojis. All the emojis would be here uh, at the top of the list. And this is where the click moment happened. So let's put everything back. I'm going to put blog inside here. Rename this back to uh, the word without the emoji. And we don't need this emoji anymore. Doesn't matter if this is going down in the list. So here's how the emojis inspired me. If I click here and I go to 2024 and I create a bookmark, but instead of writing 2024, I, I write blog. The name of the bookmark is blog and maybe add an emoji. I now have this here. And if I click, so let's go back here. I'm gonna just collapse this. If I click here, did you see what happened? Well, it opened at 2024, but to get there, it had to open the blog folder, which gave me access to both the 2024 to right click and create a post here if I already have the post in mind, or right click here and create an idea. Now imagine this with 
all my main uh, creator and other information that I look for every day on my account. Better yet, let me show you the real thing. But first, this is another change I did. I moved the bookmarks to this position here to quickly switch from both of them. So I'm starting all my navigation uh, using the bookmarks. I'm always going back to bookmarks. And if I need to, I can go to files. Here's what I have. This is my real account, okay? So home is my homepage. It's a single note. You already know how that is. Family is a folder that has subfolders for each family member. My wife, my kids. Yeah, they're not kids anymore. They are adults, but... <laughs> But the ones I need more frequently are my documents and my wife's documents. So they are here as separate folders. But if I click on family, I'll see that main folder. Then I have pale blue dot. This is a simple note that has my next trips grouped using the data view plugin. And then I have here podcast, blog, YouTube. This three here, they point to the 2024 folder, subfolder of each one of this, and they are inside the creator folder. So I have all that structure there, but when I click here, I get to the point I need to. I go straight to the 2024 and all the, the indentation opened. Newsletter is not here because I'm automating it. Uh, and by the way, if you want to stay up to date with everything I publish, the blog, YouTube videos, everything, you can subscribe uh, going to vladcampos.com slash newsletter. And there is Notepad. Notepad is a, it, it is a folder I use to just dot, jot down ideas. Uh, I, my main folder in Evernote was uh, called uh, notepad and I, I also have it here. If I have something that I want to just write down, I do it uh, inside the notepad folder. And if it's the case, I then move it to another folder. Like the previous video about this topic, this is a simple solution, but it's working very well. So let's go back to the, to the, the, the account I use to record the videos. So what I'm doing is if I need something, I go to that place, do whatever I have to do, and then I click back here to get to the main list, the most used uh, files or folders that I have in Obsidian. And of course, I'll be constantly uh, adjusting this list to, to be the best place to find everything that I need at that moment. I already know what you're thinking. Next year, I'll have to update the bookmarks but that's okay. It's a simple and single change I'll have to do next year and it will last for an entire year. Uh, this is the, the kind of simplicity I'm always I, there's looking for. There's no need to create a, an automation for this, a smart system for this. It's just once a year and who knows if I'll be using this next year. Okay, now it's up to you. Let's see if you guys prefer simple solutions like this or more elaborated solutions with automations and things like that. <laughs> if this was helpful, please, I'd appreciate it. Thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you want to help even more, uh, please consider joining my Patreon, becoming a YouTube member or buying me a coffee. Thanks for watching. See you soon.